Hi, everybody, and welcome to this edition of Digital Tutors ArchiCAD Template Creation Training. Um, and so we're going to wrap up template creation with the very last aspect of creating a template, the actual saving of the template itself. So you've done everything I've said, you've created, you've gone through the elements, you've created your own custom layers, you've gone through your line types, made sure those are all right, you've checked your fill types, you've adjusted your priorities and your building materials, you've created the composites that represents the building types and building in the walls that you use the most. You've also done some adjustments to your pendant colors, you might have minimized it, you might have added some various different pins and colors for different view sets that might represent some information that wasn't there. Um, you might have gone through and adjusted your surfaces and either created some custom ones, brought in different materials or uh, elements, um, and then you um, gone through and you've adjusted your profile manager. You might have gone through and adjusted the zone categories. But in any event, you've adjusted a lot of different things. And, you know, it's not going to be totally perfect the first time, but it is going to be the thing that you use to start your projects. So, as it is here, let me just save this really quickly as lesson and so really what we're doing here is we we want to save the template so what I'm going to do is I'm going to go down here and I'm going to make this a project template so we'll call this project or lesson 13 how about how about we call this we'll call it digital tutors template um and then we'll just save that so now i'm gonna say okay i'm gonna make a i'm gonna save this as different file real quick And then I'm going to start a new project. So here it is. I'm starting a new project. I have ArchiCAD 18 residential template, commercial template. I have another template that I've created. And then I have um, the digital tutors template. So we'll select that one and we'll go new. And so whatever window you have open, whatever different information you're you have open it will typically open to that information so um, so when I open this one it should open up with all the windows that I had open and the view that I was just looking at so that's exactly um, the thing to be aware of is that when you save that template whatever windows that you have open so I have the 3D window, I have the conditions, I have a, I have a master sheet open right now. Um, all those windows will open up in your template file when you launch a new project. So I would recommend making sure that, you know, like this, all of my windows are closed. And the first view that I open up to is the view where I want to start uh, a project. So that could be from data entry um, requirements to um, a host of other different, uh, different requirements that you might uh, um, want to start at. But ultimately, just do a save as. And if you see down here and I select the template, there's a template dropdown, gives it this TPL extension, and voila.
we have created a template that's customized to our needs based on um, all the information that we've already covered. And so in conclusion, um, you know, creating your, your template file should be on your priority list and you should carve out some time to create that template um, and not too much time, but also allow yourself time to go through and fix and adjust and add information and create new versions of those templates as you work through problems that you have found with what you have created or want to change how things are represented in your projects or um, somehow increase the efficiency of uh, production. Um, and I thank you for taking the time to watch these lessons. And I hope that you have um, gained some insight and um, will be flying along in your ARCHICAD uh, production work. Uh, thanks again, and I uh, look forward to seeing you in the next um, session. All right, bye.